Uh, first off, who are you and what did you bring to Maker Faire Lille in France? So I'm Benjamin Cavé. I'm a French maker, I guess, and I brought my infamous artificial nose that was featured uh, a couple issues ago in, in Make Magazine, so a nose that can be trained to recognize virtually any smell. Absolutely, and that was the nose that was on the cover of the magazine, yeah? Yeah, and here it is here. So what does this project do for the people that maybe didn't see the magazine? So it is like it uses like off the shelf sensors, like super inexpensive gas sensors, and it, it's an Arduino kind of kind of device, right? And you can just train it to recognize smells, and so it can be either really lame, like you figure out figure out like different spirits. That's what I did initially, like figure out the difference between whiskey, vodka, rum, whatever. Or you can do something way more useful for things like I don't know, like you have anosmia because. COVID hit you really bad, then you can train the nose to recognize uh, spoiled food, right? And when you open your fridge and you feel like uh, drinking juice, you don't really know whether the juice is still good, right? So you can train it, train the nose to, oh, that's interesting. to, to alert you and be like, okay, you might not want to drink that. So you could train it to smell the spoiled food. That's really cool. Spoiled food, but burnt yeah. food is another one, right? I mean, you can always have a smoke sensor in your in your kitchen yeah. and it will tell you when things get really, really bad. But when the food burns, it's, it starts with the smell, right? So you can first pick that up before it's even starting to like to go into flames. That's really cool. Now you've got some here, some some units that we could look at. Can we just look at it here? Sure, yeah. So it's uh, so, so it's the like, WIO terminal? Yeah, it's a WIO terminal, so like an, an Arduino, really, really, really small um, microcontroller. It doesn't have lots of memory, doesn't need it actually. And um, so based on the version, I guess, you would have then gas sensors. So for that guy, the gas sensors are actually within the nostrils. There's nice. actually two for better accuracy. For this one, you can see it here, and yeah, like we're talking less than a hundred US dollars for for the whole thing, right? Less and you than don't $100. even need to like you don't, you have don't to need the, nose. the enclosure. Yeah. Like it's it's actually better without the enclosure because the sensor gets closer to the source, yeah. the smell source, right? So speaking of source, is this an open source project? Everything's open source, and that was kind of my point. Like my, I had this realization where like I knew nothing about AI when I started with this, and in Literally a couple hours, I had really good results. Started to have something that was literally a nose, and I was like, "How come I, as a software engineer, I, I didn't know that was possible?" So I really wanted from day one to have everything open source. So the the bill of materials, the software, the, even the 3D enclosure design, like everything's there for folks to Perfect. use and tail up. Yeah. Not you, Caleb, but another Caleb, right? Now. Caleb Kodama. Yeah. 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 So it's a kid based out of uh, LA County in, in in the US. His school project was to figure out how to diagnose pneumonia using this kind of device. There how to diagnose a, pneumonia? A, a That's fantastic. Kind of pneumonia where you can actually pick up pick up some markers in the the breath. Wow. Which um, yeah, which he did. So it, that's way you, more useful than smelling whiskey and. So if, if someone's watching this, you know, back in the States or something and they want to learn more, yeah. is there a website where they could learn more? Yeah. The, the entry point, I, I guess, would be GitHub. Like if you if you just Google or like search search for uh, the artificial nose by Benjamin, that's why I'm, I'm Benjamin, like the, the GitHub landing page will, will be where you will find most uh, pointers to like how to, how to build it, how to download the code, how to tweak the code. If you feel like it, you don't have to, like Caleb, he didn't write a single line of code, he just like... Just used it and trained it on a different thing. Yes. That's fantastic. So people should just Google Benjamin Artificial Nose yes. and like then they'll find it. That's like Wonderful. I've been super lucky in that regard. Perfect. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you.